Hello everyone, today we will learn how to create WordPress post from new type form responses. So if you have created a form using the form builder application type form and all the responses that you have been receiving, you want to use them to create a WordPress post, then don't do it again and again manually. But in fact, you can create an automation with the help of Pabli Connect. In this integration, our trigger will be the response received from type form and our action will be to create a post in WordPress. Let us learn how to do that. So if you want to create a post in your WordPress website using any form submission, so this time we are going to learn to create automation with the help of Pabli where we can integrate our type form and our WordPress in such a way that I have created this specific form over here and we will be filling this form and the entry from this form will reach WordPress as a newly created post. So let us quickly sign in into our Pabli account so that I will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. We are going to use Pabli Connect for this automation. Let us create an access now. And then you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow on the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. Create WordPress post from type from entries. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you right here. You can see on your screen a trigger and action boxes over here. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this. So whichever is going to be your trigger application, an event will take place in that application that will be called the trigger. And once it triggers the application, action application will make sure to perform the assigned action. For this workflow, our trigger application is type form because once the form is submitted and then the action application will be WordPress where the post will be created. So the event is going to be new entry. If you have opened your type form account right here like this, so Pabli Connect will automatically detect. You just have to give access by clicking on connect, then add new connection, connect with type form and then it will automatically detect. Just click on accept. This is how you give access to Pabli Connect to capture the responses received from that specific form. Now you have to select the form. There might be many forms created like you can see over here. The list is here. My form is the form I am right now working upon. Now I will click on save and send test request. But before that, let us quickly copy the link of this form and then paste it in a new tab so that you are able to fill up the form. This is the link. I have copied it and now I will paste it. See, this is the form that has opened. Let us click on save and send test request and then go to the form and fill the form. I'm going to fill it with the name demo user. My reason is this is my reason of this query and the query is. And this is my query that I have explained over here. Click on OK and then I have to enter my email address. And this is my email address. As soon as I click on submit, I have submitted this form. I'll go to Pabli Connect and wait for the response like this. And here you can see right in front of you, we have received the response. You, in the response, you will be having all the details. Like see, this is the description that we wrote. This is the email address. Then we have the title also and the name of the person also, which means that response from the trigger application has been captured. Now it's turn for the action application to perform the assigned action. So the application is WordPress and the event is to create a post. Click on connect and then add new connection. Now you have to enter the WordPress username or email address, whichever you want, WordPress password and base URL. Now for two minutes, we just have to ignore base URL because we have to first enter the username and password. So let us do that. This is my username and the password is now we come to base URL. So what is this base URL? It is this part of the URL like this is your WordPress account. So you have to enter from HTTPS to WP3 and not include admin or login if you had that. Okay, so you have to read this instruction given over here and accordingly copy it. So let us copy it till WP3 copied and now we'll paste it right here. Once this is done, click on save and the accounts are connected. Now you have to select the post type, the title, content, which means the general details that are 
you supposed to fill whenever you are creating a post so you are doing it in the form of this workflow so what is it it is a type of post that you want to create then what is the title the title is the query so what was the title of the query this was it okay you can also write by a small hyphen and then give the name also so right here we can write it in the search and map data to search for the data that you're looking for rather than going through the list of all the content now what is the post content so this is the list where you are given all the responses that you have received from your trigger application either you can scroll like this like you have found by scrolling but if it is a very long list you can just simply type in the search and map data and you will get to your content that you're looking for nothing else is required status is published yes it has to be published the ping status is open comment status is also open you if you want to change the author i have changed it to the admin once this is done just go to click save and send test request and wait for the response from wordpress wordpress usually takes two three more minutes as compared to other applications so you have to give it a little more time and here we have the response see you can see these are the links to that post that has been created using the details that we just entered save this part and then we will go to our wordpress to check if we have created a post or not all post from post in the left side panel and see expired products over here we have it's public admin and it's published right now which means that our workflow has been a success so our trigger application was type form we created a form and filled the form so the details of the submission of the form were used to create a wordpress post now every time a new person or a new registration is done through this form then you don't have to create a post for that form entry separately it will be automatically done once this workflow has been set up so this was the whole video i hope this helped not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.